Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises on our glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Arukakadash. Double honest to the apostles and elders of great millstone, peace and salutations to the old way of that. Coming at you with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. Lord willing, this lesson may be edifying. I want to start at the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 15, verse 1. And it says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Now, with that being said, let me get one more precept. The book of Psalms, chapter 68, verse 11. It says, the Lord gave the word. Great was the company of those that published it. It said, great was the company of those that that published it right who's the company that are declaring the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai the servants the prophets it is our job it is our duty to go to the highways and byways and preach this word let me get another precept it is our duty it is our reasonable service right Book of Matthew, chapter 22, verse 9. Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as you shall find, bid to the marriage. All right? So this is something that you should love to do. You know? Because, let's be honest. Camp day, when you go to camp, right? You're not just, uh, pre just you know, preaching edifying you know it, it, it's a time to show your love for the lord right and you can also look at it as a venting session you know because you can't you can't really talk to <clears throat> you really can't speak how you feel to the people in this world no who, who, who are you gonna talk to the people at your job <clears throat> unless a brother work there with you you know, y'all might talk amongst each other. Are you going to talk to certain family members? No. Nah. Little brothers, we, are, we already tried that for the most part, you know? Now, nah, there might be a select individual you might try to throw some little jewels at. But for the most part, the only time you can actually be yourself is at camp. Preaching the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because what you're saying is that nothing you made up. No, it's the Lord that gave the word. Okay, and we are just publishing it, and we feel the same way. And how the Lord do, right? So that's why we come out the scriptures. There's no other better way to you know to say it, but coming straight out of the Holy Scriptures. So it's not like we're making these things up. We're reading it, and we feel when we feel what we're reading. All right. So the importance of the prophets, you see, the prophets was always there before doom and gloom. They were prophesied of doom and gloom. Real fast. This was just something quick, quick through the spirit, you know. Book of Jeremiah. Chapter 28, verse 8, it says, The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against. What did they stand for? The, did they stand for these places? No, they prophesied against great kingdoms. Right? Ain't America Babylon a city? I mean, ain't America Babylon a great considered a great city? A great kingdom, if you will. Of war, and what are we talking about? World War Three. War is coming, <laughs> right? That's why you, you're seeing all through the media wars and rumors of wars. <clears throat> and of evil, we're talking about the evil that has been happening, and more evil is coming, right? The scripture says, "In iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold." What do you think is going to happen? 
you know, when the love of many wax cold, people are going to be doing, like Eder Hawa say, evil. That's what's about to be happening, you know? And we already see it. When you look, when you look at um, Eder Hawa's page, when he did all the in the news, bro, you see pe people losing their, people are completely losing their mind. Committing all acts of evil for the smallest things that w you wouldn't even think people would do it behind. And a pestilence. We talked about that uh, 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 at camp, you know? Different plagues and pestilences come to this place. You know, camp yesterday we talked about, you know, this different, uh, there's different, uh, the lantern flies. You know, if you watch the video, as we had camp, we had to move the camp spot over a little bit because damn lantern flies was attacking us for real. Not attacking us, but they were just everywhere flying on us and doing all this different crap. You know, but what they are, because they're harmless to us, but they do attack the uh, uh, the plant life. You know, that's what they do. And um, there's a yard. I believe I, I I may still have pictures in my phone, but there's a yard we used to uh, a property we used to uh, do, right, or cut cut for, right. And he had a uh, had like he had trees in the back, right, two big trees. And you know, I was looking at the tree. And you see all this like black pus coming from the tree. And I'm like, what is what is that? What is causing that? Well, little to be known, it's from the lantern fly. The, the lantern flies were killing the trees. I mean, they were everywhere on the trees. You know, like they was covering the tree. You know, to the point where if you don't, if, when you walk close to the tree, you know, you seen that it was what? It was the lantern flies. It wasn't even the the tree was there, but the lantern flies was covering it. You know, but the Lord said, but the Lord said what? You know, he said, I shall, uh, roughly paraphrasing, I shall plague Egypt again. Let's see if I can get that real fast. <clears throat> Whoo, wee. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 11 says, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and I will destroy the land thereof. And that's what we're talking about of America, Babylon, the great being what? Being destroyed. And talking about how Egypt, which America spiritually Sodom in Egypt, is going to get smited as before with plagues. You know? So there's a lot of plagues coming to America, Babylon, the great. A lot of doom and gloom that you people ain't even ready. Y'all ain't ready for. Y'all don't even see these things coming. If America is on a, a decline, right? America is on a super decline. And you people can't even see. You know, whole NWO agenda going on, a whole digital uh, a, a, a tra system transition going on. Wow, because they're trying to hit you with the C hip. The MOTB, Revelation chapter 13 or 16 on down, right? That's what they're trying to put in you. To control you. You see? Because he wants your soul now. He already controls you on a physical aspect. He already uh, working on your mind. But I mean, he wants your soul. You see? And this is what destruction got to come to this man. But before that comes, bro, all hell is going to be breaking loose. All hell is going to be breaking loose. You see? Jacob's trouble... You know, the hour of temptation that's going into the sea hip. You know, a time like never before. But that was just something quick to the spirit. Lord willing, was edifying. Till next time I want to say, Shalom.